Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. So let's find out what's happening in Taurus's love life. What are the energies in Taurus's love life? Okay. There's two energies that I'm picking up from these cards, okay? Now, let's look at the first energy and then we'll move into the other energies. The first energy is giving me an impression here that for some of you, you may have been stuck in a situation with a person and it might have been a relationship that happened really quickly. It might have been a relationship that made a big impression upon your life, but I'm picking up from the energies as well that there's this element of immaturity coming across from these cards. It could be that someone in the situation was either very immature or perhaps there were power plays, but I'm definitely getting the impression that you were dealing with someone who always felt as if they were 10 steps ahead, okay? It might have been difficult for you to feel as if you were, you know, outsmarting them. And the reason I say this is because I'm picking up very heavily from the combination of these cards that whenever you tried to make a move out of the situation or out of this difficult position you found yourself in, this individual would always come into your life and reel you back in, you know. It's sort of like the energy of where you're trying to um, free yourself, free yourself from a situation that is either unhealthy for you or not good for you. And this type of energy keeps you stuck it keeps you limited and it could be the type of person you were dealing with or the nature of the circumstances but we'll have to clarify these cards to know more okay so let me shuffle and clarify those energies now what i'm also seeing here is that for some of you there's this different energy coming into your world Okay, I feel like with these particular energies, there's a sign here of better days ahead, better days ahead, improvements, you know, happiness, happiness like you've never imagined. You know, I feel like for some of you, you might have been involved with an individual that could have been doing things to you or just, you know, keeping you locked up in this tower where you couldn't escape. And you couldn't have your own identity. And for many of you, you're probably very, um, you know, attractive or you have things going for you. You're starting to recognize your value in a way in which you never did before. And I feel like you've been dreaming and thinking about love in a different light for some time. You've been wanting to have, you know, something that can go towards the future and something that you can be proud of. That's what I'm picking up from these energies. Now, the next energy is showing to me 
that um, you're looking for love from a person that's not immature. You're looking for love from a person that can take care of you and that can provide for you, okay? It feels like the energy that you're moving away from was a very backward type of energy. It wasn't taking you towards your growth as a human being. It wasn't taking you towards a better life. It was just keeping you there, you know? And maybe this individual you were dealing with, your ex or whomever you're dealing with, they were behaving in this way because uh, you were either a trophy to them, okay, male or female, but it feels like, you know, they may have gotten a kick out of keeping you stuck. Perhaps for some of you that might have been a karmic situation, okay? So let's clarify these energies. For those of you that haven't already subscribed to my channel, do make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. There's also an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Now, what I'm picking up from these energies is that you're looking for a love that is very different to whatever you're leaving behind. And this is an energy of where you're taken care of. Okay, the two of you have a commitment with each other. This is potentially a new person coming into your world and offering this to you. The energy that I'm picking up from this new individual is a very high possibility that this person could be in a position of authority or they may have worked very hard in their life to get whatever they did. Okay, they are very disciplined. They're the type of individual that um, could be in a position of authority. I don't know if I just mentioned that, but anyways. So this individual could be someone that gives orders to people. And what else? I'm also picking up this energy of them having this approach where they want people to turn towards them, but they can take care of you. It's not like this type of energy where... This person has you running around in circles, doing power plays, trying to stroke their ego, etc. This new individual coming into your life is bringing this energy of, you know, um, it's healthy vibes. It's like someone who generally has, genuinely has your best interests at heart. You know, they really care about you. So let's see. Yeah, this is all love. This is incredibly powerful energies incredibly powerful energies this is a very strong card which is signifying love and the beauty of it and this is the second time this card is appearing the second time it's appearing okay so let's see i feel like with this uh next energy there's a sign here of where some of you are very very afraid for this change It feels like you're scared. There's this energy of conflict, but I don't feel like it's connected to this new individual you're coming that's coming into your life or you may have already met. It could be um, connected to this energy here. You could be carrying some baggage. Yeah, I feel like for some of you it's hard to let go of this energy that you become so accustomed to but you are in the process of this change and it's understandable where you know you are in a position in which you're ready to let go of the old but the old still hangs on to you regardless and that's what i'm picking up from these energies you know there's a different type of love that's coming into your world a very different type of love let's look at the next energy So I see that many of you have recognized your value, okay? You know who you are now. And I feel like some of you, you know, you've been so neglected that it might be hard for you to accept any sort of 
kindness or positive gesture from another individual based on the experiences that you've had before. So I feel like you might be communicating to this individual or you could expect communication from this new person. But I also feel like there's a hesitation for you to respond or to give um, your energy to it. Some of you could be focused on your work right now. And the love that's coming into your life is something that can change it, but you might be completely unaware of it. This is telling me that, you know, the person coming into your life or the person you've already met, um, they may have their eye on you or may have had their eye on you for some time, but you're so focused on your objectives that you're not really that interested in love right now. And that's a good thing. Sometimes love should come in when you least expect it. It should surprise you. That makes, that makes it more beautiful, I feel. So let's see the energy of the past person. So what I'm picking up is that there's going to be some form of communication from this individual, okay, from the past. And I feel like on an emotional level, you're not really going to be enthusiastic to talk to them. You may reply back, but I also feel like a part of you will want to be very cold and distant to them. Yeah, I'm picking up that you might ice this individual out because you just don't have time for their nonsense. So I feel like this might be an energy that brings conflict into your world and that could distract you from the new love coming into your life. So do be aware of that because I feel like they're going to try to come back in to either offer you love or to try to um, see if they still have a hold over you, right? Let's see. Let's look at the next energy. Yeah, I'm sensing here from the cards that some of you are in a position in which you're very disappointed with what has happened. And I feel like you're going to end up feeling confused about what to do in this situation. There are still elements here that are standing in the way of you having happiness. And what I'm picking up as well is that the past is still playing a role in your life. And that could create further sort of heartbreak. What I'm noticing is that for some of you, you may have felt as if you've done the spiritual work, but there might be certain things that are uh, keeping you from actually breaking free from that. And this new path that is opening up for you, it's much more exciting than what you're leaving behind. I can tell you that. So let's see. What are the other energies that Taurus should be aware of? Time is of an essence here. I feel like um, the past person is thinking about you and that's going to make the new person potentially feel very pressured, okay? There's going to be a lot of pressure that's going to be coming in in this particular situation and it might cause some upheavals. 
uh, in your love life during this period, okay? So what I'm going to be doing in the extended reading is I'm going to be looking at how you can avert some of these uh, chaotic energies and what you need to know about the new person versus uh, the past person but mainly focus on the new person your new life and everything that's going to be happening because they feel like there's a very uh, major sort of energy pulling you towards a different energy and some of you are still holding on to those old energies that could stand in your way of having this beautiful new life you can find the link in the description box below have a wonderful day and take care